Hey gamers, it's Rusty Dan here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different than I usually do. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of different card packs. No, it's not a word. Uh, card packs. There we go. Uh, that I'm going to be opening today. So I have three Animal Crossing card packs, or Amiibo card packs, I should say. I also have three random four packs of Pokemon training cards, and then I have four eight packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! trading cards. I'm not entirely sure why these come in eight and the Pokemon ones come in four. They're made by the same people. The the packs, I mean, not the actual cards, obviously. They'd be rolling, that company would be rolling in the dough if they did. Anyway, um, yeah, so I see a bunch of people always doing stuff like this on YouTube, and I was kind of like, hmm, should I do, like, three different videos on the three different packs? I'm like, no, who the heck wants to watch, like, a whole five-minute video of just like opening three whole packs of cards, like nobody. So I'm gonna open all of them at once. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys don't think that's annoying or whatever, so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with the Animal Crossing ones first. I'm gonna go with number one first. So I also have my handy dandy scissors here. I don't think you need them to open this part though. Let's see. Nope, but it does come in a little crinkly package. Alright. Make sure I don't actually cut the cards themselves. And totally missed the whole entire package, of course. Oh, there we go. That's good enough. As you can tell, I'm super great at opening card packs. Oh, so this is series number one of this kind, as you can see with the one on the side. Um, I also have a Series 2 and a Series 3, and the differences are they come with different characters for, well, obviously, and the front shows you all the NPC cards you can get. You get one NPC card per pack. Oh my gosh, that's hard to say. I also have no idea how it worked today, apparently. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta adjust myself. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see what we got here. So the first guy we got is Serrano. Cyrano? Cyr Cyrano? I don't know how to pronounce his name. And he's an aardvark, or an anteater, I should say. And he's number 94. Oh, we also got Truffles the pig. She's number 79. Oh, she's super cute. Or he. I'm not entirely sure if it's a girl or a boy. And we also got Phil. I know he's a boy. He's a peacock. And he's number 57. Also, I'm just realizing my thumbnails look disgusting. Lovely. Oh, we also have Puck. I, don't, I think I have Puck. He's a penguin. He's number 43. We have Lopez. I don't think I have him, but I, I have seen him before. And he's number 27. I think he's a deer. I think that means he's a deer. I'm not entirely sure. He's cute either way. Oh, we got Rossetti. I don't have Rossetti. And as you can see, the NPC card's always like super shimmery and sparkly. So pretty. And he's number six. And obviously he's a he's a mole. <laughs> Alright, so that's series one. And then we're gonna go with series two. I have actually never had a series two or a series three pack before. I'm just gonna open this part over here because you guys don't care if I open this part behind the camera. Um so I know I won't get any doubles or anything. Which is good. Doubles always suck. Which is always a danger for these types of things. Alright, let's see if I can just open it this way. Oh, I can. Awesome. What are we going to get? So exciting. Alright, so we got Freya, the wolf. She's number 196. Oh, we got Pecan! I love Pecan, she's so cute. And she's number 180, and she's a squirrel, obviously, because you can tell by the tail. And we got Teddy, the bear. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. And he's number 167. Oh, he's adorable. And we also got Carmen. Oh, I've never seen her before. She's cool. And she's number 145, and she's a bunny. Oh, <laughs> she's adorable. And we also got Gwen, the penguin. No, that's, that's really punny. And obviously, she's... Yeah, I just said she's a penguin, and she's number 125. Cute. And what's our NPC? Oh, KK! I don't have him! Oh, I love KK. He's awesome. He's surprisingly number 101, which is odd. You think he'd be, like, lower on the number scale, but whatever. He's cute. 
I love his songs. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go with series three here. Let me zoom out a little bit. It's hard to do with this table here. Um, I'm really hoping I get the kimono. Isabel, she's so cute. Or Dig Bean, his little raincoat, he's also adorable. All right, so let's give this an open here. This is what the pack looks like. It's not much different, but it's a little easier to see now, I guess. It's a little smaller. I love the star design. It's so cute. There's a Series 4, too, but um, there wasn't any at the store, and I was really sad. I wanted to do a video of all of them. Oh, well. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> well, I wasn't begging, but not that you know, anyway. <laughs> all right. Oh. Let's see what we got. So the first one we got is Maple. I actually have one of her. That's a little unfortunate. <laughs> oh, Pippi. That's hilarious. Um, because I, one of my best friends' last name is Pippi. <laughs> and she's number 267. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Maple's a bear. She's number 294. <laughs> and, yeah, Bunny, Pippi, 267. We also got Marshall. <laughs> He's cute. He's a squirrel and he's 264. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. I'm going to get into my town. Oh my, we also have Bardo. He's number 249. It's a little close to the name Birdo, which is odd considering he's a bear. This little section down here also concerns me. But <laughs> yeah, he's a little strange. He's number 249. And we also have Canberra. Canberra? Canberra? He's a koala either way. He's 232. Oh, we also got Grams. Oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> and she's number 211, and I think she's a Kappa. Not that it says, but yeah. Um, yeah, oh, I don't have her. That's kind of cool. All right, so that's all of the Animal Crossing packs here. That was a pretty good haul, to be honest. And which one should we do next? Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon? I kind of want to do the Pokemon ones next. So these are basically just like dollar store packs of like just four random ones but sometimes you can get some pretty good ones in here to be completely honest and this is where i'm going to need the scissors because these are impossible to open with hands all right let's put that to the side let's see what we got so the first one we got is charge bug he's just the plain design he's kind of cool um i feel like we're gonna get a lot of sun and moon ones in this Oh, I got to Danny or to Dan. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, he's adorable. <laughs> oh, he's eating a little berry. That's so cute. And we got a spring type deerling. That's adorable. And we got a fighting energy. Cool. All right, so let's do the next one here. Move this out of the way. Let's see. I have a feeling I'm going to get like a legendary or something in one of these. Wait, hang on. I'll switch these over so you can't, you don't get spoiled by what's behind them. Ooh, so the first one we have is a really coolly designed Brion. Focus. Focus. Thank you. <laughs> and it has Wave Splash and Disarming Voice, so that's kind of cool. She's so cute. Or he, you know, it's a free country. A really cool pop star, Curlia. <laughs> She's so adorable. She's not like a dance party with a Mr. Mime and a Starmie, which is a little random. I guess they're both psychic types. Oh, and a Carbink. Oh, he's cute. Focus. Why are you not focusing? There we go. <laughs> and we also have a Stuffle. Aw, oh, he's cute too. I never actually had a Stuffle in Sun and Moon. I should. They're adorable. All right, last pack here. Come on, we gotta get something really cool. Let's see what we got. So the first one we got is a Paris. He's pretty cool. Oh, and obviously since I wasn't doing a very good job of hiding it, so we also got a Mincino. Who's also adorable. He looks like he wants to give you a hug. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Ooh, a really cool sigil lift. That's awesome. I love the design of the 
the wings on him. He's really cool. Oh, and then Dratini. Oh, he's adorable. I love Dratini. And it's, you can kind of tell, it doesn't really show up on the camera that much. It's like watercolor in the background. It's really pretty. That's not too bad. That one's a pretty good one that I got. Um, we didn't get any legendaries, but that's okay. I only paid $1.25 per pack anyways. It's not a big deal. All right, so we're going to go for the Yu-Gi-Oh cards this time. These ones I'm going to do a little quicker just because um, it comes with more of them. So I don't want to just be like incessantly babbling in your ear for a whole 20 minutes. <laughs> if you watch my Let's Plays, you already do that. So, <laughs> All right, so the first one we got is... Um, oh, sun, stop it. Ma Magis Spectre Sonics. I hope to God I'm not saying that wrong. And I'll... I'll let you guys look at the description for a couple seconds before I put it away. So it's a little froggy and a fly. <laughs> He's adorable. It's a spell card, obviously. Next one we have is a unicyc unicycular. Oh gosh, that's hard to say. It says, it's a machine, the third of his brothers following tri tricyclar and bicyclar. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm saying both of those wrong, but... <laughs> And a digital bug web solder. That's a little interesting. And it's a effect slash insect card. Cannot be used as an XYZ material or an XYZ summon, except for the XYZ summon of an insect type monster. Oh gosh, that's a lot of words. I'll just let you guys read that. You can pause it if you want. I'll try and like focus it so you can look at my horrible nails and look at the little description down there. It's got a defense of 1500. That's not too bad though. You also got, oh, a cool trap card, Pendulum Area. Um, you can tell it's important because the words kind of shimmer on the top. I'm not really sure what that means, but I know it's good. <laughs> it's a rare card, or it's a special one. If all monsters you control are Pendulum Monsters, a minimum of one, target two cards in your Pendulum Zones, destroy both cards, and if you do, neither player can special summon for the rest of this turn. Ooh, that's dirty. And Tuner Capture. It's kind of cute. A little strange. Activate only when your opponent Synchro summons a monster, a special summon. Oh gosh, I don't understand half the things they're talking about. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in so long, guys. <laughs> I have to really catch up with uh, all the new stuff, like Tuner Monsters and XYZ stuff and whatnot. Ooh, this is a cool one. It's like a spell card and a monster card, because it's orange and blue. I at least know that. Um, it's a Magic Specter Crow. Yata. <laughs> um, that must go with... That must go with this one here. I wonder what it means. When this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Magic Spectre spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Magic Spectre Crow Yata once per turn. One cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Okay, so you can use it with this one here. That's what I thought. An illusion balloons. <laughs> if a monster was destroyed during this turn while you controlled it, activate the top five cards of your deck. Then you can special summon one, activate, perform a pal monster, also shuffle the rest back into your deck. Oh, I have a perform a pal card, and it also has another card that goes with this one, too. That's kind of cool. And protector with eyes of blue. That's a random description. Interesting. Oh, I also have a, a another monster card with the eyes of blue. I think he's the master with the eyes of blue. Um, I don't have it here with me, but... Um, he, he kind of looks like that guy, just like an older man. All right. This was a really bad position to be doing this in because I'm starting to not be able to feel my feet. I'm, I'm like crouched behind this table back here. The things I do for you guys. All right. Let's see. Ooh. So we have a Shiranui Samurai. He's kind of cool, but he's also a zombie, which is a little random. And he has no defense, so that's a little concerning. But during the player's turn, you can banish a zombie-type monster from your graveyard, and it gains 600 attack. Hmm. That's kind of cool. All right, we also have Black Tyranno. Tyranno? Tyranno? I think it's Tyranno. If your monster controls no cards except defense position monster cards, you can attack your opponent directly. Oh, that would be bad, considering it has, like, 2,600 attack. <laughs> That's awesome. 
We also have Overdoom Line. Oh my, that's terrifying. If a plant type monster is special summoned from the graveyard to your side of the field, it gains a thousand attack while this card is face up on the field. Destroy this card during your end phase your second end phase after activation. Hmm. That's kinda neat. We also have Luna Light Blue Cat. Sorry, almost fell over. He's shiny, so that's he must be super important. If this card is special summon, you can target one Luna Light monster you control except Luna Light Blue Cat. His attack becomes double its original attack at the end of the turn. Hmm, that's kind of neat. Especially considering it already has 1600 attack. That could really wreck somebody's day. <laughs> you also have Mecha Phantom Beast Cult Ring. Oh, good lord, that's a lot of text. Um, I'll just let you guys read that one. Because I feel like I'm sure I'll figure out a way to mess it up. While you're reading it, you can mute me because I'm just going to be talking about random stuff about the card. Um, if you want to know if you have a legit card, like if someone's selling like a Blue Eyes White Dragon and you're like, is this a legit one? They have to have this little, I call it a watermark, but it's not, a little special seal right here. You can see it. It's really shiny. Um, that's pretty important. That's how you know it's a legit Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, this one looks really cool. It's very rainbowy. y An Engraver of the Mark. Oh my gosh, another one with a bunch of description. <laughs> so I'll just look at it for a couple of minutes. You guys can just think about life or something, I don't know. It's really cool. I'm getting a lot of cards that have a lot of attack and defense, which is good. So if you do a direct attack to your opponent, you can like wreck them in a couple turns. <laughs> Hum, homunculus, the alchemic being. Oh, that was a hard one to say. Oh, good, it's only one sentence. Once per turn, you can change the attribute of this card. Okay, but to what? <laughs> can you change it to whatever you want? Ooh, he's kind of cool. Stargazer magician. What is this? Once per turn, when exactly one other pendulum monster you control and no other cards is returned to your hand by an opponent's card effect... You can special summon one monster from your hand with the same name that returned to the hand. Okay. There's a lot of situational cards that I'm getting here, which is not like a bad thing. It's just if you, all you have is situational cards, then you know, you're not going to win very You're not going to win very easily. <laughs> all right. You know what? I've just kind of given up on this table looking really clean, so y'all have to deal with it. Don't care. All right. So the first one we got is Blackwing Harmatin the Dust. That's that's a what kind of rolls off the tongue. Not really. Um, this one, oh, it's considering it's a crow, it's not really surprising that you need like other ones of this card to use for special situations. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem super, super useful, but it looks cool. <laughs> we also have this lovely creature here, the Performapal Monkey Board. <laughs> It looks terrifying. I hate monkeys. Spawn of Satan, in my opinion. Oh, they're disgusting. Ugh. Anyway, that can be on another video. Um, you can discard you can discard this card, okay? Reveal one Performer Pal or Odd Eyes monster in your hand. If you do, reduce the levels of monsters in your hand with that name by one for the rest of the turn, even after they are summoned set. I'm getting a lot of Performer Pal ones, which is good. Normally, you get a bunch of random cards that you need other cards to use. And um, you never end up finding them, which sucks, but not in my case. Um, we also have this one. It's called Red Screen. It's a trap card. Your opponent's monsters cannot declare attacks. Oh, gosh, that's bad. Oh, but you have to pay a 1,000 life points. This is not optional. Or this card's destroyed. Oh, okay. Well, having it destroyed is not that bad. You can target one level one tuner monster in your graveyard. Destroy this card. And if you do, special summon that target. Red Dragon Archfiend must be on the field to activate and to resolve this effect. Yeah, the first part of this is 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 not too bad. Ooh, a dragon. Dragons are always cool, but he's kind of creepy looking. It's a phantom dragon. Holy crap, the level on him. Look at it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's a level eight jeepers. When your opponent special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Two of your monster card zones cannot be used. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, he has a really high attack. Jeepers, 2100 and 2200 defense. That's crazy. You also have a Fortress Warrior. That's a little random. You take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Really? That's really cool. Huh, I'm going to add this to my deck. That's a really good one. 
<laughs> and super heavy samurai prepped defense. <laughs> oh, the words in this. That's a lot of words. Cannot be normal or flip summoned if you have any spell trap cards in graveyard. Oh, that's bad. So this would have to be like your first card to draw if you want to really want to use it. Beta the Magnet Warrior. This is just a regular monster. Alpha, Beta, and Gamma meld into one to form a powerful monster. That's cool. I don't mind the normal monster ones that don't have special effects because I find they usually have pretty good um, attack and defense. It's a pretty good trade-off. And the last one is Psy Frame Gear Epsilon. <laughs> oh my gosh, the words. Uh, all right. What's so cool about this one? Hmm. I don't really get it, but I think it's good. <laughs> My brain's not working today. All right, we got two more here. Let's see what we got. Oh gosh, this table's a mess. <laughs> you know what, you only live once, who cares? So the first one we got is Kribbins, or Kribbins, I don't know how you say that. I'm assuming his bones, considering he's a, like, kind of skeleton-y. You know, once the camera focuses on the card, there we go. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can pay 800 life points and negate the attack. I'm not entirely sure why you'd want to do that, but if you have some other plan, that's not too bad. Oh, we got a different digital bug. We got digital bug sent a bit. <laughs> Cute. This card can attack all defense position monsters your opponent controls each. Oh my, that's that's pretty awesome. Jeepers. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I have to keep that in my deck. Oh, and I got another one. <laughs> that's kind of handy. Ooh, well, hello there, you beautiful creature. So this is, um, I believe it's an XYZ monster. Yeah, it says it down there. It's an XYZ monster. And it's also a very rare one because of the, how the words shimmer and shine whenever you move around. I'm assuming that means that anyway. Um, two level four water monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Reveal any number of water monsters from your hand and place the many ice counters on face-up monsters on the field. Non-water monsters on the field lose 200 attack for each ice counter on the field. Cheapers. That's kind of awesome. Pretty good. It's a pretty good one. In perform mage damage juggler. Oh my gosh, the words. Hmm. Um. During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that would inflict damage to you, you can discard this card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. That's not that bad. That's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, we got another awesome XYZ card. It's not a rare one, but it still it still looks pretty good. It's Zubaba General. <laughs> it's two. You need two level four monsters to summon. I do know that for XYZ monsters, you need um you need to basically offer up different monsters to. Yeah, there's there's always a prerequisite. I'm gonna use the scissors to point to it. Right there, it'll tell you what monsters you need to attach to this card to activate it. Um, so once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, equip one warrior type monster from your hand to this card. Oh, that's kind of cool if you want to swap one out. This card gains attack equal to the combined attack of the monsters equipped to it by its, this effect. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Jeepers. We got another trap card. It's Purge Pew. Tribute one XYZ monster. During the end stage, special summon from your extra deck. One number one with there are one number monster with the same type, but one rank lower as the tributed monster had when it was on the field. That's a little confusing. And we got <laughs> a cute little cube monster named Cuban. Uh, once per turn, you can roll a six-sided die. And while this monster is face up on the field, neither player can normal or special summon monsters with the same level as a result. Oh, that's pretty dirty. <laughs> All right, it's the last pack. Um, oh yeah, I want to go take the cards out, but that's not possible because I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> One thing at a time, Rusty. Alright. Let's see what we got here. So the first one we got is another musical one. It's Tam Tam, the Melodious Diva. My gosh, the names of these are perfect. <laughs> Once my camera focuses... 
Thank you. If this card is special summon while you control a melodious monster, you can add one polymerization from your car from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Oh, that's really good. You need those to um, fusion summon. So if you only have like a couple of them, you've used them already. This is a pretty good one to use. Hmm. We also have a Dynamist Eruption. If a Dynamist monster you control is destroyed by battle or a card effect, target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Oh, that's pretty helpful. If you have a Dynamist monster, which I don't. Ooh, another XYZ one. This is Bujinki Amateras. And that's really cool. I like that one. Hm. And you need, oh gosh, but you need three level four monsters in order to summon a Jeepers. But it's worth that. Look at that attack and defense. Wow. Hmm. And you're only allowed to control one. That's not surprising. <laughs> and next we have Gen X Ally Changer. <laughs> Once per turn, you can select one face up monster on the field and declare one attribute. The selected monster's attribute becomes the declared attribute until the end phase. I have absolutely no idea what that means, but I made it sound like I did. Ooh. It's also um, luminescent. That's really cool. Next we have Raid Raptor, Singing Lanius, or Lanius, I don't know how you say that. Doesn't look very good, it's only got 100 for each. If you control a face of XYZ monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Raid Raptor, Singing Lanius, once per turn this way. But what's so useful about that? I don't really get it. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look like it has very good stats. Oh, I've got another Psy monster, Psy Frame Gear Alpha. Hmm. So those ones have um, special effects whenever you use them with other cards of the same name. Oh, or like of the same beginning of the name. So like Psy, Frame Gear, Psy, or whatever. You get the point. Oh, we got a different Raid Raptor. Avenge Vulture. This one has a better attack. If you take damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Raid Raptor monsters. Okay, so I have a feeling that... Oh, we got another one of these guys. So I have a feeling that if you have a bunch of these cards, they end up doing something if you have all of them out on the field, like they form into something giant or something like that. But yeah, that was the video. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand here. Um, that was the video. Thank you guys. Oops, smack on the table. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully that wasn't too, too long. I was going to do them separately, but then I was like, mm, I'll just do them one. You guys can time jump if you don't find one of the trading card games interesting oh yeah i totally forgot um this is just like a little bonus thing i didn't i already technically opened these well i didn't open them i got them for free um did you guys know that file fantasy has its own trading card game they're really cool cards look at them they're so adorable like this is the red mage from final fantasy 3 that's arc and they also have, like, summon cards, like Ifrit from Final Fantasy VIII and stuff like that. They're so cool. Um, I was at this I was at this game store, and it's a Geno Games in town, and he was just giving away a lot of all the common ones for free. Why are you not focusing? Everything in the background is too exciting? Is that, what, is that what's the problem? There we go. Um, and he was just giving away a bunch of them for free. Now, I don't know how to play the Final Fantasy trading card game, but I'm like, um, I'm gonna take, like, half of these cards because they're all amazing. Wow. Um, I'll show you my favorite one here. Where is it? Um, it's in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. It's Tifa. Tifa's my favorite. I love her. She's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to learn how to play this game because it looks fan friggin tastic um, okay, now, now I'm done. Now I'm officially done with the video. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to subscribe or leave a comment or leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down because it's freedom of speech, you can go right ahead. And I hope you guys have a great day. All right, see you later, guys.